2019 is the year, Lewis Hamilton is the driver and pole is the position. Let's find out how he found six tenths over his previous best in Q3. As you can see, Sandovot honours even as we head up the hill towards Casino Square. In Casino Square, drivers are incrementally improving all weekend. Let's turn our attention to the data at the bottom of the screen. The throttle line shows Lewis lifting just that little bit later. The brake line shows him braking just that little bit later and less. And again, back to the throttle a little bit earlier, a little bit harder. Off the throttle again, and then back in the power, nudging the car right up against the outside wall on the exit of Casino Square, and then driving all the way around the bump. Whereas on his good lap, he breathed a little bit left the bump a little bit more space. On the entry to Mirabeau, Lewis Hamilton is right up against the outside wall again on his great lap and rolls in beautifully towards the apex. On his good lap, the front bounces a little bit nastily at the apex and forces him to get back on the brakes again. He plays dare with the outside wall on his great lap and trusts the track to open up in front of him down to the Lowe's hairpin. He times his turn excellently on his great lap, which doesn't pay dividends just yet. It's going to put him in the absolute best position for the next sequence of turns down to Portier. As you can see, he arrives to the next right-hander at a much better angle to turn the car in and load the left-hand wheels. It means he can take more of that inside pavement and critically, as you can see on the data, brake less. He tries the same thing again through the second part of Portier, but misses a little bit of throttle through the exit on as even. Screaming through the tunnel, Lewis on his best effort is two tenths up. As we head down to the new chicane, Lewis breaks just a little bit later than he did previously and puts a great big break in in the middle of the chicane to put weight over the front tyres and turn the car. This pays dividends on the exit as Lewis is able to put hard inline throttle in and gain a little bit of time as he runs down to Tabak. Tabak. Another section just like Casino Square, where drivers improve incrementally through the weekend. On his great lap, Lewis is just a little bit later off throttle, just a little bit earlier back onto throttle, gaining a tiny bit more time over his previous best. Check this out though, wide through the first part of the swimming pool, and on his final pole lap, Lewis has to decide what to do. He figures that he can take just a bit more of the second part of the swimming pool curb, manage the throttle accordingly, and then point the car straight over the inside curb of the second part of the swimming pool. This is when the determination to get pole kicks in. He hammers this second curb, which allows him to pick up the throttle a little earlier, as you can see on the throttle trace on the telemetry. He has to get out of it slightly, though, as he bounces and hits the floor off the edge of that curb, but still manages to take a little bit of time back on the way down to Ras Cass. Lewis, on his eventual pole lap, takes quite a lot of speed into Ras Cass and has to hold on the brakes as a result. The hot rear tyres give up on him just slightly in the mid corner and he has a couple of goes at putting the throttle in, shows good hand speed, catches the car and puts it right up against the outside wall to keep the speed up. He nails the braking though for the final corner of the lap, braking once then waiting with a rolling phase, a gap between throttle and brakes in the mid corner to stop the rear stepping out on him, come across the line and deliver a great lap of the Monte Carlo circuit.